I just went to um to a Walgreens here in town in West Salem and uh, there's this young man up front we have a lot of homeless we just have a lot of homeless in Oregon it's just insane for a liberal state to have this to have this this is a shocking thing for me and um and he was young, you know, he was probably 18 or 19, and he was scratching his arm. You could tell he wasn't a drug addict, you know, you could just tell that wasn't his case. Something about him, you could tell. And um, I had some protein drinks in the back of my car, and he was carrying a bundle of stuff, you know. And I don't have any cash, so we've given him some. And I went and went up to him and said, you know, I said, he started to walk away, and I said, wait, wait, and, and he came back to my car, and um, I was out of the car by now, and uh, I said, do you have a mama somewhere, you know, <laughs> and he started talking, he was obviously not a hundred percent, you know, he was, um, there was something a little wrong with him, you know, but you could see that he was really a sweet kid, you know, and I just wanted to take him home with me, and <laughs> and give him a place to live, you know, and take care of him, <laughs> but you don't know what the problem is, you don't know what the situation is exactly, you don't know if the next second he can get violent, you just don't know what his story is, you know, so I loaded him up, and, you know, protein drinks are freaking heavy, you know, and he's walking. So I had a bag in the car, and I, I put, you know, put six of them in there, which are still kind of heavy, and I put it up on his shoulder so his shoulder can carry it, with because he had a whole bundle of stuff in his arms, you know. <laughs> Something about this kid just really touched me, I don't know. It reminded me of my kids, my own kids. Alec, you know, he was so, he was just so young to be in this position, you know, and he'd been on the street for a while, you could tell his pants were ripped and his shoes were bad. <laughs> and I told him to go to the clinics, the West Salem Clinic and the shelters. I said, go to the shelters, you know, they're, they're trying to help you. And I said, there's a stimulus check, they're trying to get the stimulus checks to you guys. And um, I said, go to them, they're trying to help. And I don't know, you know, and he just kind of walked off on his way, you know. I don't think I've had any of these people affect me in this manner. You know, you get hardened to it, you see it, you know, every day. You see it, how dirty they are. They live on the street and they have their little communities and I see people try to, bring trash cans to them and they don't take care of their environment because they're all there's a problem they all have a problem that's why they're they're in this position there, there's something very wrong with them you know either psychologically or they're, they're just addicted out of their mind you know but most I think most is psychological at least around here I think a lot of it's psychological um, you can see it you know you see the ones you can tell the difference on, on them. Some are very cunning, and you see the cunningness in their eyes, and the um, that they're probably the ones that'll that'll hurt you, <laughs> rob you, and do whatever. You know, you can see that sharpness and cunningness there. But then you have the others that you can see in their eyes that they're they're not there. You know, they're just not um. You know, like this young man. There is such an innocence about him, a sweetness about him. And he didn't belong out on the street, you know, I just, he belonged probably in a group home somewhere because he was developmentally, he had some developmental issues, that was clear. He's not that I don't see him as being a drug addict or any of those things. I think he has a problem and, you know, either his family couldn't handle it, which is... You know, I have a mentally ill brother. I understand that completely. You know, he's, you know, they go through their families. And, um, 
but he's just so young to be in this. I don't understand how Oregon, you know, Virginia at least had group homes for the mentally ill. They had places for them to go and to be cared for. And um, Oregon has nothing for these people, just nothing for these people. You know, they don't, they're just, they are the great undesirables in Oregon and they are not addressed at all on any level, you know, except for the local shelters to give them a temporary place to get out of the cold. And that is it. You know, the kids, they all voting in for all their little pet projects, you know, all their, you know, you know, get your sex operation, you know, change operation for free and all these little projects that Oregon likes to do. The new walking bridge, because we have to have yet another bridge, you know, but why can't they all get together and say, hey, we got to take care of these poor people. These people didn't ask to, to be born the way they're born, you know, and they are on the street living worse than animals and Oregonians in the cities, because it is the liberal organists that make all laws in Oregon, they turn a blind eye and they prefer their fun, cute, great little pet projects to the hard problems, which is homelessness in Oregon. You know, we don't need another goddamn walking bridge. We don't need that. People don't have to have a sex change operation on the government's time, but these people need a place to live. They need food. They need the most basics of things, and Oregonians are so selfish and self-centered as they sit there and they sit and do their damn protesting. You know, they would much rather these kids ignore the very real problems of homelessness here in Oregon for their, their petty, narcissistic pet projects. That's all I have to say.